I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you tried to open a program that recently installed this error. The program can start because pink 64dll is missing from your computer. It says somewhat critical error and all you need to do is watch this video till the end and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for bingkw64.dll. You can choose any result you want, I'll be choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see a few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your computer architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see my is 64 bit and I am updated to the recent Windows update. So, in this case, I will be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has multiple fixing methods also. As the download completes, hit open. The downloaded GIF has two files one is a DLL and the other one is README. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then local Dixie, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLLs. Then click on the downloaded GIF, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace, and click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check by typing the file name. You can see the file is properly placed in the 32 bit folder. So, job is done for 32 bit. You can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user like me, open this PC. Then Local Dixie, Windows, and this time find a folder named CISO64. And same again, drag and drop. Check this one more time. Yeah, the file is perfectly placed in 64 bit folder too. So, job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are three lockers, you need to download the latest Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft official website and install your program again. And that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you'll no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video and do not forget to like and subscribe.